Good afternoon and welcome to Costa del Sol. I am at the airport actually. <laughs> so I am here in Spain for a couple of days to explore the Cabo de Gata natu Natural Park. Uh, I'm just waiting at the airport for a few other people from the tour to arrive and then we're off to explore. So be sure that you follow along with the next couple of videos and uh, let's Let's get exploring this beautiful part of the country. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever heard of Cabo de Gata or been to Costa del Sol around Malaga or we're actually headed two hours away from Malaga to Almeria, which is uh, sort of where it's located. So yeah, let's, let's get exploring. Hi, I'm Laura Bronner, a gal with a backpack and a camera traveling the world to learn more about the people and places and food in it and hopefully sharing some of the magic of those experiences with you. For the next few weeks, I'll be exploring places like Malaga, Cabo de Gata Natural Park, Marbella, and Sevilla. I hope you'll enjoy the adventure as much as I do. We drove all the way from the Malaga airport along the coastline to Almeria, where we swapped to a bus and joined our tour guide, Iñaki, to head into the Cabo de Gata Natural Park. Cabo de Gata Níjar Natural Park is located in southern Spain, about 30 minutes from the city of Almería, or about two and a half hours from Malaga. The first stop was our stunning hotel, Finca Maltes del Fraile. I got confused because the toilet is just on it by itself like this. And I thought, there's no shower, but just wait. Come around the corner. Look at this baby. Wowza. We've just had a nice little tour of the property and now we're getting ready to go on a hike and take these pale legs out into the, into the sunshine and bring lots of sunscreen. So let's go explore Cabo de Gata. It was less of a hike and more of a geology lesson as we headed to the Cabo de Gata lighthouse and learned all about the volcano that formed the land where we now stand. We stayed for golden hour before heading for dinner at restaurant Doña Paquita. The view was almost as good as the food we ate. Starting with ajo blanco, a cold and creamy soup-like dish, then onto locally sourced goat chops, and finished with cheesecake. Good morning. What a sleep in that huge bed. Oh, it's warm. It's sunny. Look at these blue skies. I'm very excited. Today we are going to be doing some more hiking. Uh, we're going to be heading to a few other towns, eating more delicious food, and going to the beach. So I'm excited about that. So let's get started with the day, shall we? I'm getting such strong, like, uh, Cabo, like Los Cabos vibes here, and it's making me really nostalgic with like speaking Spanish and how beautiful and like home it is. You guys, they even have agave here. Look at this.
we're just on a little bit of a hike with a shepherd, a goat shepherd. <laughs> and he's telling us a little bit about the area, about what it's like shepherding these, <laughs> these goats. I think we're gonna go and see the goats. But just strolling through this place, there's flowers everywhere. They did tell us that it doesn't normally look like this. It's that they had quite a bit of rain, which they very rarely get. And now the whole place is just so green. It's really so beautiful here. That hike was so beautiful. We are now in the town of San Jose to have lunch. We're walking towards the restaurant now. I'm hungry, I'm excited to eat. I think we're gonna have some paella and some jamón ibérico. We're getting it all today. The meal at Cuatro Nudos in San Jose was absolutely spectacular. We started with potato salad and raf tomatoes, which are so juicy and flavorful. Then there was the ham, locally made goat's cheese, and the main event. What I thought was paella, but is actually called arroz meloso, a slightly wetter rice dish. It was made with squid and fish, and it had such a rich broth to go with it. We spent a little bit of time at the beach, swimming in the water and relaxing before we headed back out to explore some more. We hiked up to a viewpoint that took us winding through the hills and offered some incredible views back over the sea. Just when you think you can't beat the views, we stop at another viewpoint. It's just incredible. For me, there's nothing better than a place where the mountains and the sea meet. Better yet, the volcanoes and the, uh, the sea. It's beautiful. After a dinner of lightly cooked vegetables in olive oil, and boquerones, or fried anchovies. It was off to bed for another early morning of exploring. The morning of my last full day in Cabo de Gata, we headed to Mesa de Roldan, where you will find these insane views and this beautiful tower, which was originally built in 1497. However, the current one you see today was built in the late 18th century to help fight against the pirates. Then we went to this lighthouse, which is home to Mario and Pippa. Mario is the lighthouse keeper and Pippa is his cute pup. Both have interesting stories to tell, but I could only understand one of them.
Mario is the last lighthouse keeper that this lighthouse will ever have. When he retires, it will go fully automated. So until then, he's doing his best to tell the stories of all of the lighthouse keepers of this lighthouse, as well as the stories of lighthouses all along the Costa del Sol. He turned much of the lighthouse into a museum that you can explore. Then he took us up into the top of the lighthouse. We're just heading to a viewpoint to look out over the cliffside, and then we're going down to a beach called Playa de los Muertos, which a couple of years ago was named one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Spain. So let's see. Let's see if it's one of the most beautiful beaches in Spain. I don't know. I can't say because I haven't seen all the beaches, <laughs> but if they say it's right, it must be. That was a pretty special beach. There was a little rock pool that we went and sat in. The water is not that warm yet, <laughs> but it's so beautiful. I mean, you guys know I love any beach, but the view here, the color of the water, the mountains, the backdrop. I can see why it's been voted one of the, uh, the most beautiful beaches in Spain. It's, it's very magical, highly recommend it. Playa de los Muertos. We are now headed to the town of Mija, which is one of the two big towns, two only towns in the National Park. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to check it out. We're gonna have a little free time to do some shopping and, and explore the town. There should be some artisanal shops so we can uh, see what products we can get and take home to, to Lithuania with us. It's home to colorful buildings and a woman named Loli who makes the most beautiful pottery you've ever seen. Without prompting, she told us that she knew this was a simple life, here making pottery with her dog sitting on the chair opposite her. But she was happy and healthy. Nearly 75, she still got out of bed each morning with nothing more than a few aches and pains. She goes for a walk, eats delicious food, and sits here doing the thing that has brought her so much joy for so many years. I hope you enjoyed exploring Cabo de Gata with me. Let me know in the comments what you think about this stunning place. In the description, as well as in the pinned comment below, I have put my blog post, uh, a link to the article that I wrote all about this place with a full details for the tour guides. Inyaki is an incredible tour guide. There are a few things that I didn't film because of the lighting. Uh, most importantly, the stargazing that we did one of the nights we were there. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, I highly recommend it. We did it with Inyaki, who was our tour guide for this whole trip. It was really such an incredible experience. Uh, I, the hotels, the food, you guys, it's just incredible. I love going to Spain. It's only my second trip to this country, uh, but I came home, got a haircut, and uh, I'm back to Spain in a couple of days. In fact, by the time you're watching this video, I will already be in Malaga, uh, enjoying a couple of days with my friend Catherine. So be sure that you are following along on Instagram if you wanna get some live updates. Uh, you can follow me at Eternal Expat. I post stories every single day uh, when I'm on my travels. Be sure that you're subscribed so you do not miss the Malaga video, which will be up next uh, in a week's time. 
Thank you as always for watching. It means so much uh, to me that you guys are along on this journey. I love hearing from you in the comments, in your emails, uh, messages you send on Instagram. It's so cool, this community uh, that we've created together. And uh, it's really an honor to, to be able to show you a little slice of the world. So thanks as always for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.